Here's something to think about. I'm W.J. O'Reilly. What's with this American obsession with true crime, especially those gut-wrenching stories where families, of all things, take a dark turn towards, God forbid, murder? It's like we can't look away from these tragedies. Take, for instance, the recent cases that have been all over the media, the Murdoch family in South Carolina, the Adelsons in Florida, and the Fotis Dulos case in Connecticut. Each one a chilling reminder that even the family unit, often a symbol of love and safety, isn't immune to the darkest of human impulses. The Murdoch story is a real head-scratcher. This family, well-known and respected in their community, suddenly found themselves at the center of a criminal investigation after a mother and son were brutally murdered. It's a tale that flips the script on the image of a southern legal dynasty, revealing a complex web of secrets and lies and murder. Then you have the Adelsons in Florida. What started as a distressing divorce and custody battle spiraled into a sinister plot culminating in the shocking murder of a law professor. This story, with its blend of domestic strife and alleged criminal conspiracy, paints a disturbing picture of how far some might go to protect their own interests. And let's not forget about the case in New Canaan, Connecticut. Fotis Dulos, embroiled in a bitter divorce, became the prime suspect in the disappearance and presumed murder of his own wife. It's a scenario that seems ripped straight from a crime novel, highlighting the tragic breakdown of what once was a family's dream life. Why do these stories captivate us so? Maybe it's because they're a stark reminder of the thin line between normalcy and chaos in family life, or perhaps it's the shock of seeing the fundamental social unit, the family, becoming a stage for the most heinous of acts. In these stories, we find elements uncomfortably close to the fears and tensions lurking in our own lives, amplified to dramatic extremes. As we follow these cases, we're not just passive observers. We're trying to make sense of the senseless, to understand what drives individuals to such extremes. In a way, these true crime stories hold up a mirror to the complexities of human nature, wrapped up in a narrative that's as compelling as it is horrifying. And that is something to think about. I'm W.J. O'Reilly. Be well and hope to see you soon.